in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit dear brothers and sisters when we read jeremiah chapter 33 the god says to us call to me i will answer your prayers when it comes to the new testament the son of god says to us that our prayers are answered the son of god assures us that our prayers are answered he says ask you will receive seek you will find knock the door will be open to you when it comes to the parable of the widow and the unjust judge the son of god assures us that our prayers are answered but we must never get discouraged when we pray he says to us that we must not lose our heart when we pray but dear brothers and sisters we often experience long delays in answer to our prayers so i am going to meditate with you why god delays in answer to our prayers now i am going to meditate with you why god delays in answer to our prayers in the light of the story of martha mary and lazarus before we come to that point we need to understand about these three characters first let us say mary who is mary how is she related to the lord we know that when jesus visited the house of martha mary sat at the foot of the lord and she listened to the lord that shows how much she loved the lord also we know that martha mary and lazarus they were so close to the lord and mary once washed the feet of the lord with her tears and wiped the feet of the lord with her hair and there is another gospel account of another sinful woman washing the feet of the lord with her tears and wiping the feet of the lord with her hair and there is this is another woman washing the feet of the lord with her tears and wiping the feet of the lord with her hair but how do we know that mary Mary of Bethany also washed the feet of the Lord with her tears and wiped the feet of the Lord with her hair because gospel of John says to us this was Mary the sister of Martha and Lazarus who washed the feet of the Lord with her tears and also wiped the feet of the Lord with her hair In the gospel account of St John chapter 12 says to us that this was Mary the sister of Martha and Lazarus who washed the feet of the Lord with her tears and wiped the feet of the Lord with her hair so that shows how much she was close to the Lord how much she loved the Lord so dear brothers and sisters let's now try to understand who Martha is When Jesus visited the house of Martha she was preoccupied with all these treatments towards the Lord that shows how much she loved the Lord but what happened when their brother was sick when their brother was sick they sent a word to the Lord they said the Lord the friend whom you love is sick The Lord was just 3 kilometers away from Bethany. When the Lord heard this message, he did not come in time. Instead, he took 4 days to come. Both Martha and Mary expected that at least the Lord would heal their brother by a word, but they did not receive this answer to their prayer. in time as they expected and what happened to lazarus lazarus died martha and mary saw their brother dying we can understand the anguish and pain that they had 
because they loved the Lord so much, but the Lord did not come in time. Their brother died. Their only brother died. Jesus knew what he was going to do, but both the sisters did not know what was going to happen. But the Lord returned to their house after four days. That time, Lazarus was already buried. When Jesus came to visit them, only Martha ran towards Jesus. She made a complaint. The Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. That means she told the Lord, why didn't you come in time? You did not come in time. If you came in time, my brother would still live. This was her sorrowful situation. This was her pain in her heart. Also, also when it comes to Mary, she did not even go to meet the Lord. She remained at home. So dear brothers and sisters, that was, she was angry and she was sad. She was in a desperate situation. So she did not even start to go to see the Lord. So dear brothers and sisters, when she visited the Lord, it was because of the request of Martha. When she also met the Lord, she said the same thing. If you had been here, my brother would not have died. That shows her pain. That shows her sorrow. She made, uh, also made the same complaint. They were angry because the Lord did not come in time. When Jesus said, your brother shall live and brother, your brother shall rise. Even Mary did not understand what the Lord was going to do. That is why she said, yes, he will rise on the last day. But we know that the Lord answered their prayer the way he wanted. The Lord answered the prayer the manner he wanted. The Lord did not answer the prayers of Martha and Mary the way they expected. The Lord did not answer their prayer the way or the manner they wanted. Even though he loved so much, when, he, when Jesus came to the tomb of Lazarus, we know that Jesus also wept. The Gospel of John says that Jesus loved them very dearly. Let's understand this, this, dear brothers and sisters, even though the Lord loved so much and even though the Lord wept for them, but he did not come in time. But he came after four days, but he answered their prayer. Dear brothers and sisters, when it comes to our prayer life, we must never get discouraged. When we experience long delays, that doesn't mean that the Lord has not heard our prayers. That means the Lord has heard our prayers. He is waiting to give an answer to our prayers. God is not deaf to our prayer. He is not blind to our tears. Maybe all of us are praying. All of us are praying for something. But the brothers and sisters, we know that God will answer our prayers. When we read the Old Testament, we know that God could have made king the day David was anointed. Instead, he was run for his life for 15 years. God made him the king after 15 years, even though he was anointed before that. When it comes to Joseph in the Old Testament, God could have rescued him from the prison as soon as he was in prison, but God made him wait for 10 years. God could have given a child to Abraham when he promised Abraham a child when he was still young, but God made him wait for a hundred years. And dear brothers and sisters, when it comes to Moses, 
God could have sent him to rescue the people of Israel the day he met him in the wilderness but he was made to wait for 40 years if God made these men of faith wait he will make us wait but we must never and think that God ha- God is deaf to our prayers God has a reason when he makes us wait so maybe we are praying for some problems in our own lives maybe we are praying for a job maybe we are praying for a child maybe we are praying for some solutions in our family life but whatever we pray for the brothers and sisters let us be mindful that god listens to our prayers he answers our prayers but he can take his own time if god made those men of faith to wait he will make us wait also but we must never make our waiting period a hopeless situation or helpless situation let's try our best to keep our eyes fixed on the lord because he is only the true god who listens to our prayers he is the only living god who listens to our prayers so let us put our trust in him he will come for us he will help us he will also be with us every time when we pray now let us also make a prayer for those who listen to this video father as we pray for those who listen to this video grant all your blessings upon them they are yours and when they cry to you listen to their prayers also grant all your powerful blessings upon them so that they will experience you are their father and you are the true almighty god also wipe away all the tears also be merciful to them and grant all your blessings upon them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit